we're being really quiet right now because we just found probably four monkeys, I think. Welcome to the next video. Today is a kind of a cool adventure. We're in Campeche, very close to Mexico's border with Belize, and we're exploring some lesser known sites, including a Mayan city that rivals Chichen Itza. But our first stop is actually a bat volcano. This is the second largest bat cave in the world. There are, I think, about 2 million bats that leave this cave every day around sunset, and we're gonna go watch them because they can hit your face. Well, they can hit your body, really. You're required to wear a mask. The entry fee is 80 pesos per person, roughly about like $3 for 2 million bats. That's less than 0. 0.0002 cents a bat. It's and just a lot of freaking bats. It's a lot of bats. So we're gonna go in, I think, five to 10 minutes is what she just said. Our adventure. También se, se tiene registrado que con estos murciélagos pueden vivir hasta 20. Oh, you see them. Oh, wow. Ooh, there is one flying right in front of me. Uh, today is a kind of a cool adventure. We're going two and a half hours from this town of Xpu? Xpujo? I don't know how it's called. We'll put the name. We'll put in the name. We're going to the biggest and the greatest of Maya ruins at Calcomo. We're gonna see some wildlife, a lot of Mayan pyramids, and lots of history. Well, we're still waiting. We got stuck at this checkpoint slash construction zone. We're only 10 minutes away. Oh, maybe we're not gonna wait. No, no, no. no. Mm -mm. Mm. Looked like we were gonna get by, but I don't know. There's a lot of construction that's going on here right now. I think it's because of the, the Maya train that they're putting in place. But on the way here, it probably took us like maybe an hour longer than what we thought it was going to. And the road has like all of these potholes in it. So Rish is just like constantly driving like to avoid the potholes. It's almost about 70 kilometers of just potholed road. Fingers crossed that they take this block out of the way and we can just continue to go and get there in the next 10 minutes. One hour later. Well, one car just passed us by, so we were hoping that that would be the car that would uh, that was stopping us, but the barrier remains. 15 minutes later. We made it. just got to Kalakmul. Kalakmul is a Mayan city in the state of Campeche and it is almost a thousand years older than Chichen Itza. This area is the largest natural reserve in Mexico and I can see why. As you walk toward the structures that we're going to see in a few minutes, it's just dense jungle. Tons and tons of animals, birds, it's pretty incredible.
we're being really quiet right now because we just found probably four monkeys, I think, swinging from the treetops here. Sibling rivalries. This is structure seven. And as you can see here, there are people who are actually climbing up to the top. You're allowed to climb up the ruins here. We're gonna go up top and see if we can get a nice view of the jungle canopy. Wow. to the top of structure seven and oh my god i am out of breath <laughs> the name kalik mool actually has meaning to it ka means two lock is adjacent and mole means mounds you can see in the distance there are two additional pyramids behind me and so the name references the two pyramids that are adjacent to one another in this background oh my gosh they just get narrower and narrower <laughs> really tiny steps you gotta be real careful because you'll fall a long ways down okay so we just got to structure two it is known as the sacred mountain of Kalakmul. What's really interesting about all of these structures is that you would think that all ruins from Mayan history look all the same. That's not the case. They have various different types of architectural styles. This one is known as Paten, and it's characterized by the zigzag corners, different levels, and really tall buildings. can't tell by my smile, we made it to the top. And all around you, you just see a sea of green, just completely unobstructed views. No real signs of humans having lived here other than these ruins emerging from the jungle. It is just such a cool experience and it was totally worth all of the blood, sweat, and tears to get up here. Totally by ourselves, but it's still cool regardless. Yes, it's like a fraction of the tourists you see at Chichen Itza. Very few people actually come here. So I was trying to create a scene, you know, to show that we're alone in the jungle, but we're almost alone. It's good to have some friends in life, your life sometimes. <laughs>